the most common and basic question what is waste waste is unwanted or useless material in biology waste is something and unwanted substances or toxins that are expelled from living organisms metabolic waste such as urea and sweat waste means to use or expend something carelessly or to no purpose similar words used for waste rubbish trash refuse garbage junk litter and out etc the most important thing to remember is what are the major categories of waste number 1 liquid waste number 2 solid waste number 3 organic waste number 4 recyclable waste and number 5 hazardous waste in the previous training tutorial waste management part 1 i have told you what is waste and what are the different types of waste in today's training session i'm going to tell you how waste is impacting our lives how waste is impacting our climate and how waste is causing global warming and in the end i'll tell you what is the hierarchy of waste management so let's get started dear friends and colleagues do you know waste is affecting our health waste is affecting our socio economic conditions waste is affecting our coastal and marine environment and lastly waste is affecting our climate too ghg greenhouse gases are accumulating in earth's atmosphere as a result of human activities causing global warming surface air temperature and subsurface ocean temperature to rise rising global temperatures are expected to rise sea levels and change precipitation and other local climate conditions changing in regional climates could alter forest crop yields and water supplies and this could also affect human health animals and many types of ecosystems deserts might expand into existing range lands and features of some of our national parks might be permanently altered these are the impacts of waste if it is not managed wisely efficiently and timely do you know some countries are expected to become warmer although sulfates might limit warming in some areas scientists are unable to determine which parts of those countries will become better or drier but there is likely to be an overall trend toward increased precipitation and evaporation more intense rainstorms and drier soils whether rainfall increases or decreases cannot be reliably projected for specific areas and don't forget these are the impacts of waste activities that have altered the chemical composition of the atmosphere build up of greenhouse gases primarily carbon dioxide co2 methane ch4 and nitrous oxide n2o co2 is released to the atmosphere by the burning of fossil fuels wood and wood products and solid waste ch4 is emitted from the decomposition of organic waste in landfills the rising of livestock and the production and transport of coal natural gas and oil no2 is emitted during agricultural and industrial activities as well as during combustion of solid waste and fossil fuels just for your kind information in 1977 the united states emitted about one fifth of total global greenhouse gases another important question how the waste expose human beings remember human exposure occurs through ingestion of contaminated water 
our food contact with disease vectors inhalation or dermal these are the sources of human exposure you are on the platform of safety first life today we are discussing about how the waste affecting and impacting us if not managed wisely do you know what is the meaning of point of contact points of contact means soil absorption storage biodegrading plant uptake ventilation run off leaching insects birds rats flies and animals direct dumping of untreated waste in seas rivers and lakes results in the plants and animals that feed on it these are the different ways or means how the waste is affecting us